Meanwhile in Austria. Some walk. Oh my god. <sighs> so can you see the fault? Within specifications. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Here is the bad one. This is awesome. Isn't it beautiful? Siemens MKL 470 nanofarad. Here is the second one, and this one got hot. This one is not so happy. Let's see if it is still fine. The good one has more than 500 nanofarads. Here is the bad one. And yeah, it seems to be fine. And here is why. These caps are built for high temperature applications. They have no electrolyte. They have uh, just metallized paper or metallized plastic. I hope you find this interesting. Hi again, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully this will be a repair video. Let's have a look. It doesn't do anything. Hmm. Hopefully it's just a Samwa capacitor or something like that. Someone already tried the repair. Always check the power supply first. Uh. Fine. Oh my goodness. Someone already tried to get inside here. Hmm. Come on. No. Oh. Oh. A really nice service able. Nice. Ah. Come on. So, DC input is here. This is an EMI gasket for shielding. Uh. Magnet. Come on! I'm loving it. I am sure this is covered by the warranty. Funktechnik. This is my Käse. Oh, 
I have to change these little LEDs. And this is a pain in the ass, really. This is a pain in the ass. I can tell ya. Woo! Oh my god. Here we have a faulty subwoofer. It's an active one and it doesn't power up. Heco, the master of sound company. Yeah. Space S3 subwoofer made in Germany. Wow. I have already removed the screws, so we will have a look inside. No. Whoop. Say what? There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's no earth. One nice toroidal transformer. So can you see the fault? Both caps are faulty. And I'm not the first. There's already a fuse missing. I guess the rectifier is faulty too. This is the amplifier section. 1994. So this is the complete board. With the power supply, then here's the sensing input, op amp, yeah, nothing too special. And these are the crusty, crusty, crusty caps. Wow. So this is what they call a subwoofer. I believe the second ring is uh, to eliminate magnetic fields. Hmm. The cabinet isn't too bad really. I've seen worse. So, as an eBay seller, what to do with such a unit? Honestly. In faulty condition I can get like, yeah, 1 euro, 5 euro, 10 euro, who knows. And I will also get an unhappy customer because the thing isn't working and he will invest time and effort and and then he will complain, uh, I've only mentioned the faulty caps, but I didn't mention the faulty part X. And shipping of this damn thing will be very difficult and delicate. So, yeah, really, I, I don't see the point in selling this faulty subwoofer. I'm sorry, and you will probably hate me. But I will disassemble it. It has no earth bin. The amplifier section isn't worth. It is pretty much beyond economical repair. So I will try to sell the toroidal transformer. I will try to sell... Uh, who knows? I will probably try to sell the chassis. And that's it. This is awesome.
Okay, you won't believe this, but I've checked all four caps and they are all fine. They have like 10,000 microfarads each. I think this one had only, only 9,700, but yeah, that's just uh, within specifications. Yeah, that's quality. I can recommend Nippon Chemicon, as I always do. Hi guys, here is this large scientific decade resistor. This is kind of impressive. Actually, there's only one step, the 10,000 ohms step activated. All other steps are at zero. I'm going into my Ageland five and a half digits uh, multimeter and it shows exactly one kilo ohm so this is really amazing how old is this i have no idea it is probably 50 years old 60 years old who knows mm. wow <laughs> Meanwhile in Austria. It is working, but it is drifting as hell. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, this is box number one of, I think they are 170. Mm -hmm.